Hello there to all of you humans, tortoises, coyotes and dragons watching today's video. So, today, I will be doing a basic beginner's guide to the strongest battlegrounds, and hopefully this video will give some new players a solid basis to work with while getting better at the game. We will be covering the basic controls and moves in the game, what they do and all that cool stuff. Before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like the video, if you don't want to miss out on future videos on Strongest Battlegrounds and other Roblox games. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and your help would be much appreciated. Anyway, let's begin. So the first thing we'll cover is basic attacks. On Strongest Battlegrounds, there are three types of attacks, and we'll cover the three of them here. So this is the regular attack combo, and the most basic combo in the game. To do this, all you need to do is hold the mouse button when facing a nearby enemy. This combo will hit up to 4 attacks, and yeah, all you need to do is hold down the mouse button. For you mobile users, all you do is hold the punch button until you hit the same 4 attacks. The next basic combo, what I'm doing now, is doing the same thing, holding the left mouse button, but you also have to hold the jump button at the same time. This results in the last attack becoming an uppercut which you can use to set up more advanced combos. On mobile, you'd not only hold the punch button, but you also hold the jump button. The final one of the basic combos is basically the same as the first combo, but it's just a bit more complicated. Basically, you only hold the mouse or punch button until the third attack. After the third attack, you need to tap the space or jump button, and attack again, resulting in a slam attack. This is another solid setup for the more advanced combos you'll learn while playing the game. So next, we'll discuss the various dashes in the game. Dashes are used to outmaneuver opponents, escape attacks, or just to get to one place or another faster. To dash, you either press Q, or press the dash button, while moving in the direction you want to go. The first dash, is the forward dash, which you can use to quickly get up in the faces of opponents where you feel necessary. The forward dash generally is not recommended to prepare combos due to a roughly half second window after use, where players can freely attack you before you have a chance to retaliate. This is where the side dash comes in. The side dash can be used by pressing either Q or the dash button, while moving sideways. The side dash is considered the best dash type in the game, because not only does it not have that half second window weakness, but it also has a lower cooldown compared to the forward dash. It is also the most versatile when used in advanced combos. The final type of dash is the back dash, which covers the most distance out of all the dashes, and would probably only be used to escape wide covering attacks like ultimates. So now that dashes are all discussed up, let's discuss the types of characters in the game. There are a total of four characters in Strongest Battlegrounds, each to their own strengths and weaknesses. They are the Bald Hero, the Hero Hunter, the Menacing Cyborg, and the Modern Ninja, all based on different One Punch Man characters. First, let's take a look at the Bald Hero. So, each character has four key bind attacks unique to their character. The Bald Hero is no different, with it having these cool attacks. What you just saw is the so-called Normal Punch, which can be used to create distance and end combos among other things. There's also the Consecutive Punch, which is usually used to keep combos going and build up some extra damage, the Shove, and the Uppercut, which are finishing attacks usually used at the end of a combo. So next up is the Hero Hunter, which is what I personally use on the game. Its first two attacks, Flowing Water and Lethal Whirlwind Stream, are heavy hitters that are incorporated into various combos, most notably the so-called Kyoto Combo. There is also the Hunter's Grasp, which is normally used to continue combos by cancelling the Ragdoll effect. Finally, there's Praise Peril, which can be used to stop an enemy in their tracks and start a counter-attack of your own. Finally, we will cover the third character, the Destructive Cyborg. The fourth character is locked behind a game pass which I don't have, so I might cover that in another video. 
But anyway, the destructive cyborg's arsenal consists of the machine gun blows, which is virtually identical to the bald hero's consecutive punches in most ways, so is equally applicable. The cyborg also has access to the ignition burst, essentially a dash and a knockback attack in one, as well as the blitz shot, which is a ranged attack. Finally, there's the jet dive, which is one of, if not the heaviest hitting normal attacks in the game. By the way, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you might have heard or read me rambling about blocking. To block in this game, you need to either press the F button on PC, or press the block button on mobile. So the last thing we'll cover in this video are ultimate attacks, which can be used after filling up the bar above your inventory. Each character will enter an ultimate mode of sorts, and these ultimate modes have four different attacks that hit much harder than the character's regular attacks. They're probably too cool for me to spoil the surprise though, so going game, fill the ultimate bar up, and see for yourself how cool they are. You won't be disappointed. But anyway, I think we'll call the video there, as we've covered each of the basic functions of the game. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative enough. I too am quite new to the game, and am only just getting better at it, so I thought it'd be a good idea to create a video like this to help other new players. If you found the video helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content, and like the video to show your support. That's me done. Sayonara, humans.